We're in the first quarter, no score. Melrose got the first down. Now they're going to run their first run here. And it's going to be a good gain for Hellerman coming out to the left side. Makes a cut at the 50. Coming up the left sideline. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds. And he gets it all the way down to the 25-yard line of Eden Valley Watkins. A big run for Melrose. Carrying the ball was Bradley Hellerman. We talked about him on defense. There he is on offense. Nelson out of the shotgun. Will keep it himself. Bobbled the ball, but then he still goes in to score the touchdown. Nearly lost it, but Regan Nelson with those good hands found the handle and took it in. A seven-yard touchdown run. Melrose leads 6-0. Shotgun here for Regan Nelson. He will fake the handoff, play action pass play, throwing deep for his brother. The catch is made by Rowan Nelson. And he falls down at the 45, but it'll be a long throw and a catch. Nelson to Nelson, first down for Melrose, out to their own 46. Well, you know, Regan Nelson is a basketball player. That's an easy pass. Second and four, he's gonna throw again. Throws across the middle, he's open. Hellman with the catch, touchdown Melrose. Hustling in for Melrose, one of the D linemen in there now is going to be Sam Sogren, who's a good wrestler for the wrestling team as well. I always like those wrestlers as down linemen up there. You bet. The balance that comes with wrestling is so helpful for D line play as you're getting pushed around in every direction. Sogren at 6'1", 285. He's in there now as the nose guard. Third and short. He'll try to stuff the run here if that's what they end up doing. And Eden Valley Watkins will hand it off straight up the middle, and there he is. There's my guy. Sogren makes the tackle. And oh. it's a loss of two. First down again for the Dutchman. They're on top, 14 to nothing, and they are driving again. Now down to the 29-yard line. Here's a pass, and it's going to go down to the right corner. It's up in the air, and it'll be caught. Touchdown, Rowan Nelson. A 29-yard throw this time. A high lob to that corner. Rowan Nelson just had to run underneath that one. He did so, and Melrose scores again. 21 to nothing, Melrose. Eden Valley Watkins is going to throw on first down. Jansen right side throw. It'll be a catch, and then Strite is coming back upfield, and then he runs into Hellerman, who picks him up in a form tackle and drives him right backwards and down to the turf. So Melrose has three touchdowns on three possessions. They're going no huddle here. Regan Nelson has him at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine now at the 46 of Melrose. And Nelson is going to throw, looking for Cooper Gert down the right sideline. He's open. He makes the catch. Then he stumbles and falls, but the catch is good. And he's going to be marked down inside the 15-yard line. Big throw again for Regan Nelson. This time hooks up with Cooper Gert. Boy, Mark, it's pretty easy to to just take for granted that those plays are going to connect, but that was another perfectly thrown ball and excellent catch on the route. Good job to a, a recent weapon of choice, Gert. 40-yard throw. Here's another quick one, and it's going to be a catch and a touchdown this time for Melrose. Cooper Gert made the catch, and he scores. So third down now for Melrose. Regan Nelson again takes the snap. He's going to run it himself. He's got a good hole, and he comes up field, and he will go into the end zone. It will be a Melrose touchdown. The second tonight on the ground for Regan Nelson, and Melrose scores again. 